the Great lived from 356 to 323 years before the birth of Christ. The third king of Macedon, he was a conqueror and imperial genius. He was educated by Aristotle. He crossed into Asia in 334 BC with 30,000 men to begin one of the greatest continuous marches in history. And here is the centerpiece of the exhibition, the sword of Alexander the Great. Legend proclaims when he was born, the priest granted him a sword blessed by Apollo. This one right here. It is said to have the power to protect anyone who uses it. In 330 BC, his general Parmenian conspired against him. Parmenian and accomplices were found out and killed. Four years later, at the age of 33, Alexander fell ill of fever and died. His empire quickly disintegrated. Alexander the Great was influenced by the myth of reincarnation, and believing that his sword had everything to do with his conquest, he had it buried with him so he could use it in his future lives. Excuse me. People, I'd like to introduce you to Chris Kilos, the director of the museum. I would like to add a few words. This sword was acquired by our staff curator, Julie Wilkins. It is priceless. It possesses extraordinary spiritual powers. As a matter of fact, the man who donated the money for the purchase of this sword died. Great. Great mystery surrounds the sword of Alexander the Great. Leaving for the day, Mr. Kilos? I'd like to check out one of our artifacts. Do you mind? No, not at all. See desk Mr. Kilos needs something from the vault. Here's the identification number. It's a small statue of Alexander the Great. play is on. You're a welcome guest here, Mr. Kilos. A gift.
There's nothing here. Hello? Hey, you there? Let's go. We're heading down the east wing. Over. <laughs> back. Please. Please. I've got a family. Please. Just go. Anything you say. Please. Anything yet? Oh, yeah, I think so. Great. Yeah, he's got about 3,000 fingerprints. There's a little uh, chewing gum, too. Right. Do you know who the dead robbers are yet? They're Penny Annie B&E &E boys. I know them. They're on parole. This is an inside chat. See if you can find something. All right. I hope they apprehend whoever's responsible for this onerous crime. This robbery will damage the reputation of the museum as well as the exhibit. The insurance bond will take care of all the immediate damages, including the loss of revenue. The sort has no fixed price. We've estimated its value at 10 million. 
Our company will have to receive some notice from the police department indicating if and when they've decided that they cannot find it. It'll be a very tight investigation. It'll help retrieve the sword, we hope. I understand. Well, the captain says you're out of it. How's the uh, case going? It's confidential. No problem. I'll be around. like what I saw in my vision. They could have had a duel anywhere. So you saw this fencing duel thing like before? Yeah. <sighs> What's going on? Now, where were we? I was thanking you for your fine sense of judgment in this case, which I can see you apply throughout your department. Thank you. I realize that you and your men have many more important things to do. So I'm gonna try to make your job easier for you. You've searched and found no trace of the stolen goods. A letter to that effect to our insurance company will allow all of us to put this regrettable incident behind us. Thank you for your suggestion. I will not let this investigation drag on any longer than it should. That's what I wanted to hear. Aren't you supposed to be watching Wilkins? Yeah, yeah, look, Captain, you gotta know. Whoever killed used a sword. How would you know? I saw it. And I heard that the museum robbery was a stabbing as well. Listen, Danny. I know you're into fencing. So you're getting your dreams and your real life a bit mixed up. I got dead bodies all over the city, and many are killed with a blade. <laughs> it's usually eight inches long. It's sold at the Army Surplus store for 30 bucks. It's very deadly. And it's not very exotic. And it's not a sword.
Or not? Yeah, but are you fucking sure about this guy? <laughs> you asking me? Yeah. Take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present. They don't expect us to win. Get <laughs> it all. Got time for jerkos. Where's your money? Twenty thousand on Joe Dar. I'm out of here. It's a lot of money, amigo. From everywhere. I can't do nine to one. I'll give you three. All right. Good. Match. All close. Get it all, like you said. He has the sword of Alexander, the great. He can't lose.
These pictures represent some of the missing items. The shipment of ancient artifacts was stolen shortly after it arrived in the country. These items are part of an exhibit that I have worked on for years, and I'm begging anyone who happens to have come upon them to return them to the museum. A $100,000 reward has been posted. No questions, no tricks, no cops. Contact me, Julie Wilkins, at the Metropolitan Museum. Nick Milano here. What do you got? Are you suicidal? Good evening to you, too. Now, whoever killed that guard knows what you look like knows what your name is, knows where you work, even knows you have access to $100,000. Not wise. Where'd the reward come from? An anonymous donor. <sighs> no more publicity stunts, all right? called me, said a pissed off gambler lost a lot of dough. The swordplay man, it's happening again. Look, pal, I need your help. Meet me at the warehouse at Cherry and Lakeshore. There's a body. Leo, yeah, it's me. Hey, listen, do me a favor, man. Spell me for an hour, will you? Don't ask. It's important, what does it matter? So bring her with you, I don't care. Thanks. So what's so important? I need you to keep an eye on the girl. I won't be long. Just don't take a couple of days. You see what I got in here? Oh, you want it. Yeah, for sure you owe me. You owe me too. down here.
Looks like Halloween comes early this year. They were here in my own. Fucking everywhere. And I'm the last one to know it. Yeah. Andrew. Another dead body. Do you hear me? Yeah, uh, why don't you come down, uh, you know. Take a look at the body? No. I want to get back into the play. I knew it. You're friggin' wacko. Andrew. Andrew! of the sword design in your mind. Perhaps your subconscious. Mm. Which is more logical to you? I don't know. I think you agree with me that there's something significant here or you wouldn't have been logging all this dream information. I know you want to find out what's behind your dreams. I'm not suggesting any answers. I think we're stuck together for a while, so I'm just... Coffee? Thanks. You're welcome. man was killed here last night. There's something really creepy about this place. They cleaned up all the evidence, just like I thought they might. And they probably never used the same place twice. Well, wouldn't there be blood or something? Why do I think this is not standard police procedure? No, he's my only link to getting to the bottom of this, including the sword. I gotta stick with him till the very end. Good evening, Mr. Rene, I presume?
like it. Go ahead. Take it. Don't worry. Trust me. Yeah! 
Dick! He's not the owner of the sword. He's not the king. you to my fighter, Mongol. Do I know you? Your fighter, Jodar, received some nasty cuts tonight. <laughs> Perhaps he'll meet his match sooner than you think. What is it you want? Typical American, what do you want? <laughs> the question is, what do you want? When you've decided, let me know. And don't waste my time. He has the right sword, the holy sword, but not the right man. The stakes are getting higher and higher. Two, three more fights, Jodar. Then we'll retire. Cool. What kind of weapons were they fighting with? Uh, they were fighting with swords. Men and women just watching. There were two men trying to kill each other. Remember what the man looks like who brought you there? Yes. He was an older man. Maybe 50, 55. Well-dressed and rich. He had a, a white beard. And he, he called himself Rene. He, he invited me to a dinner party. Where? He said it was on a ship. That's all I know. All right. We'll get you an artist and you can sketch what he looks like. We'll find him. museum today. You're not supposed to go into town. I'd like to check out some more details of your dream journal. In that case, I'll have Leo drive you in. You realize your unauthorized press conference is enough to get you dismissed. What do you want from me, Chris? The 
deal. One week. Then you give up trying to find the lost sword and allow the insurance claim and our careers to move forward. No, your career moves forward. But I don't have a choice, do I? All right, just chill out. We'll be there in two minutes. Hey, don't you know littering is against the law? So call a cop. Traffic from up here. Over.
that does not belong to you, and I want it. Fuck you. What's going on here? Stay away from him. Stay away from him! Take it easy. I bet heavily on your strange friend. I expect him to win. You see, with the sword, you are invincible, aren't you? But then, <laughs> the sword truly serves those of the past. Of the past. That's right, of the past. Pleasure, I'm sure. I trust you enjoy Mongo's victory. It was interesting. Good. Glad you enjoyed it. You know, if you're looking for serious money, you won't find it here. Peanut stuff. <laughs> the game's outgrown you, and you don't even know it. I tell you what, why don't we talk afterwards? That is, if your pawn is still alive. If you like.
I think I'll go collect my winnings. I see. See you later. Obviously, you're interested in some kind of an arrangement. How much are we talking about? It depends on you. Why? How much are you willing to wager? You think you have a very powerful warrior, and I... I'm interested in the ultimate prize. One half million dollars. And you don't understand. Christ, I want that sword. Are you crazy? I want the sword. You, you have stolen the great sword, the sacred one. It belongs to one man, not Yoda. This man seeks the sword, and the sword seeks him. And when he has found it, he will do my man Mongol battle. I have been around the world and back in search of that great sword. And I have finally found it. Yes. And you, my friend, you shall find the man or die. Die? What do you mean? Find who? Alexander the Great. You'll do it.
fuck were you, man? You were supposed to call me. So what went down? It was here, man. I'm sure of it. I know it was here, man. Look, what's important is who's killing who, Andrew. Knowing that would be nice. The further I get into this, the less I'm sure of. Andrew. Watch your back. Arminian 345 BC, 324 BC. Son of a general in the army of Alexander the Great, as well as an officer in the same army. Quelled the revolt to retain his army and kingdom. In the process, he killed the leader of the revolt, Parminian. Alexander, with his intricate spy network, caught wind of this treasonous act and quickly quelled the revolt. In the process, he killed the leader of the revolt, Parminian. 324 BC. Parminian has returned to life after 2,000 years to revenge his murder. Now you know. There was a party afterwards. I think I was drugged or something because I can't even remember how I got back to my car. But did you find out anything about my sword? Check this out. It's beautiful. There was a photograph of a sword with a design on the hill just like that. What design? fights and we'll retire. Then we'll dispose of the sword. Dark like a fucking vampire? I thought the door was locked. It's locked. It was. How you been, man? Oh, busy. Yeah, you look it. Keep in touch. The captain's pissed. <laughs> I'm worried. I know what you're doing. Where is it? What? This next sword fight. Thing. I don't know. You don't know? That's what I said. You go 
too deep into this thing, you won't be able to get back out. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. I hope so. Talk to you later. Nick here. I got a tracker on him. Get me two squads down the Lower East Side in the double. He's on the move. Squad standing by. to Alexander the Great. Too bad. He's been dead for over 2,000 years. That sword will bring Alexander back to me. <laughs> now you don't know how I pursue that sacred sword. Well, perhaps some other time. baby. Thank you. 
Minion wants Andrew Barrett at the play with a sword so history can repeat itself. Maybe. Maybe not. Ready to give odds. First class tickets to Costa Rica on the next available flight. Hang it up, you're not going anywhere. Toss the gun over here, Pee Wee. Slowly. What do you want? Ah, oh, the museum piece. Quite a few people have lost their lives over this. I don't know what you're talking about. Dial 911 for information. You heard me. Pick it up. The line is dead. I told you, the line is dead. You got people looking for you everywhere. No, oh, quiet. You know, Andrew Barrett, if you believed in reincarnation, you'd call him Alexander the Great. Do you know how I can reach Barrett? I thought you did. You know, there's some people who would love for him to make an appearance with this. You crazy man. <laughs> it will be a historical expectation. Wasting our time. Relax. Besides, I don't know if I like the idea of you and one of these jewels anyway. Yeah. Andrew Barrett, this is Christopher Kilos. Are you ready for this? Always. Andrew, it's Nick. I got the sword. Nick. They want you to fight the next sword play. But they'll kill me. Thank you. 
Avenged! Ah, Gladiator Cop. You're just one surprise after another. The sword. You get the sword at ringside. Dislike unnecessary risks. You know what to do. Nick. Let's go.
Like two million dollars! No! You fought well. You are Alexander. What do you guys want? Leave him with us. He's gonna stand trial for murder. Let's go. 